What's up, YouTube? Your boy Slim is back with another cigar review, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, today I'm going to be smoking on the Palencia Amo de Fuego. Hope I pronounce that right because uh, if I don't, I'm pretty sure uh, my wife will correct me since she is a fluent in Spanish. And as you can see, I got on my bright ass uh, Miami colors. You know, we used to live down there. But uh, today we are going to be smoking on a Puro. And this is the Valencia. I'm gonna do a fagel. I probably gave that to you twice, but it's fine. Nice triple cap on there. Nice looking bands. And as far as like the other Palencia I smoked, it doesn't have all those bands covering up everything, but it has a nice quick band. I'll go ahead and take that off. As you can see, it's a dark wrapper. Nice things running through there. Now, firmly packed, firmly packed. Almost like a closed foot. Not sure I'll get a coffee or espresso or no. Pepper tea. All right, so the Palencia Almodel Fuego. Spanish for solar fire capper, captures the passion and strength of Nicaraguan tobacco, a Nicaraguan puro, like I was saying. The binder and filler is composed primarily of tobacco that is grown on the island of Ometepe. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Which was formed by two volcanoes. Volcanic soil with the right climate combination is ideal for growing tobacco. The island of Ometepe sits in the middle of Lake Nicaragua. Known for its strength. All right, so like I was saying, the country's Nicaraguan, the rapper's uh, Nicaraguan, the binder's Nicaraguan, the filler's Nicaraguan, and from Valencia Cigars. But before I get into this, you know what? I just want to give a uh, shout out to a lot of people in the cigar community that I've been talking to. They've been giving me like some advice and stuff like that. You know, I've definitely reached out to people I respect and you know watch their their videos regularly sorry about that because i got my kids out here playing but um they've given me like some advice on on things i respect their opinion you know what i'm saying and uh because at first when i started this youtube channel i didn't know what to expect but um after talking to those people you know what i'm saying i already knew how how and where i wanted this channel to go and eventually gradually it's going to get there so I appreciate y'all hanging with me along for the ride. You know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, let's go ahead and uh, sorry, I'm kind of flustered. I got shit all over the place here. But uh, favorite part of the day, so let's go ahead and get some cut up. <sighs> wow, that's a tight draw. Really tight. Let's go ahead and light this out, man. Hope everyone is enjoying in their uh, their weekend or their weekday, depending on whenever you're watching it. So it's been a pretty good week. Good light up. I guess uh, my thoughts right off the jump is like uh, I'm getting that coffee or espresso note, but I got that on the foot because it was closed up. But um, 
I'm going to let it warm up and I'll get back to you with my initial thoughts on it. All right. All right, YouTube, I am back and uh, I guess my initial thoughts right off the jump are that um, I don't pick up any spice right now. It's a, I definitely feel that pepper on there and I'm getting like a, um, it's really creamy, but um, other than that, there's like a, a sweet note in there. I don't know if it's like chocolate or something, but um, there's a sweet note in there and uh, it's really creamy and smooth actually. And uh, from what I have heard about it, I thought it would be a lot spicier, but I mean, eventually it may get there, but we'll find out. Um, and actually, this is, uh, let me make sure I got this one for you. This is the 6x54 Conception, Conception, and it cost about anywhere from $14 to $16, and I got it from, you know, my man Sal. So depending, you may be able to get it on Cigar Bid now, you may be not. You may be able to order it from some other B&Ms online and get it for a more decent price. But I mean, other than that, I'm gonna keep on smoking it down. It's a nice Brock box press on there too. I'm gonna keep on smoking it down, get into that first third, and I'll get back with you with uh, my overall thoughts on it. Well, not my thoughts, but my uh, flavor notes. All right. All right, YouTube, I am back getting into, uh, almost the end of that first third. I figured I'd break it up this way considering how the, uh, the band is. But I mean, <clears throat> Overall, the burn line isn't razor sharp, but uh, it's a little wavy, but um, I don't think it's messing with the flavor notes or anything like that. And um, as far as the, the flavor notes that I'm getting, that um, that coffee or chocolate note, I think that's still there. That's making it sweet and creamy. The strength hasn't picked up, you know, pretty much at all. It's still on point from uh, or on par where it was when I first lit it up, but I'm getting, uh, maybe like a slight citrus notes and a little bit of nuttiness in there but i mean um i mean honestly i am i am uh, impressed by this uh, cigar right now just starting off right from the, the beginning like i said this is uh, the conception 6x54 i am about 40 minutes in and i am let me back up so i am about that far into first third so I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a really long smoke and if the flavor notes continue the way that they are starting out right now I have no problem with it but other than that I'm gonna keep on smoking it down get into that second third and I'll get back with you all right all right I am back and uh, getting to the end of that second third close to the band um, my uh, thoughts are that um, pretty much like the first third, still creamy and smooth. That, uh, sorry, this damn raven is kind of throwing me off, but um, it's still creamy and smooth. That, um, that sweetness is either like a chocolate or a cocoa note in there. You know, I don't think it's coffee. But I mean, the pepper, it's, uh, it's starting to pick up slightly, but I still think it's in that medium range where it's not too overwhelming. And I don't know, I think the, uh, the retro is uh, probably some slight pepper on there, not too much. I don't think it's red pepper. You know, I'm not getting any burning sensations. That's really smooth too but it had, definitely has like that coffee and chocolate note in there on the retro. But uh, overall, it's a, uh, I can't complain. I mean, I am uh, I'm actually really enjoying the cigar. I mean, I smoked the, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, the Coseca, Cosecha. Probably butchering it, but uh, if not, my wife will correct me on it later. But I mean, either way, I am just getting into, well, the end of that second third, and I am about an hour and 15 minutes in on this one. So she is burning really slow, and I think it's enjoyable because um, all those flavor notes that I'm getting. But um, I'm gonna continue smoking it down, 
get into that last third and I'll get back with you. All right. All right, I am back on this Valencia Alma del Fuego and um, pretty much my overall thoughts on that last third, we're getting into that, well, almost the end of that last third is that um, pretty much from the beginning, it's still creamy and smooth. The pepper hasn't picked up anymore, you know what I'm saying, from that second third. But um, those citrus notes are, uh, are definitely there and they're even more so now. And uh, with a slight bit of a like nuttiness. And I think that nuttiness has even uh, went into like the retro. But um, as you know, I don't usually retro every cigar, but I mean, this one's like so creamy and smooth. I was like, hey, you know what? Maybe the retro isn't gonna like be like overburning with anything like that. And sure enough, it hasn't been. But um, I mean, other than that, it's um, any woody or earthiness or leather is not there. If so, it's real faint and it's died down. But um, I'm gonna get my notes together and then I'll get back with you on my final thoughts on it. All right. All right, YouTube, I am back with my uh, final thoughts. And I think overall, as far as the strength, from the first third to the second third to the last third, it was a medium cigar. The spice, you know what I'm saying? It was like medium body, you know, overall, all the way through. The spice only picked up in the second third probably a little bit, but it was real faint, you know what I'm saying? And the finish, you know, no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, as far as the flavor notes, I feel that this is a really complex cigar. I was getting a lot out of there. Some of it I didn't know, some of it I kind of figured I was. I think uh, a lot of the cigars I've been smoking lately have been on that creamy and smooth thing. But um, overall, you get those notes of like cedar, espresso, or coffee, you know what I'm saying, within the first. And then what, within to the second, you know, you're getting that still, that chocolate sweetness or whatever in there. Um, but I mean, that increased or just stayed there all the way into the last third. You know what I'm saying? That was a, that was really good. So, but there was a lot more going on in there. You know what I'm saying? And I can't really put my finger on it, but um, it was really good. Um, as far as the construction, the draw started off tight. Once it started burning, you know what I mean? The, uh, there was no issue with it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to touch it up. The ash wasn't flaky at all. I actually had to knock it off when it was dropping them in dimes. You know what I'm saying? That was pretty good. Um, as far as the finish, the finish was probably like a medium to a light. It didn't really linger as much. Well, and this is probably the first cigar, I would probably say that, you know what, I wish it would have, you know, had of a longer finish just to taste those notes in there a little bit longer. But I mean, as far as the price, like I was saying, I think I told you about like anywhere from $13 to $15, depending on your B&M or online. And that's gonna run you about two hours for that cigar, depending on how you smoked. I think I was probably taking my time with it or not taking my time, just saying, hey, you know what, I'm enjoying it. So depending on how you smoke, it could last longer or even shorter. But I figure if you're gonna pay like $15, and uh, that would be the cigar I would pay $15 for. I don't think it's a good cigar. I think it's on the line of being like a great cigar, at least for me, you know what I mean? I've smoked a couple, you know, other Palencia ones, but um, I would have to say that was probably the best one that I've smoked as of right now. You know what I mean? I, prop I smoked a couple of them, but that's probably the best one that I've had. But I mean, other than that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good uh, weekend, not too much rain or whatever in the forecast. So I'm going to get out here, enjoy the rest of the day with my family. You know, I hope you guys are doing the same. So that's all the smoke on the Palencia Alma Del Fuego. Okay, still having problems with those Spanish words. <laughs> all right.